Hello everybody, Wednesday morning and it's lovely to be with you once more on the pier of the New Harbour. Uh, who am I? That is a question that we've been asking. It was certainly the question Moses asked long ago when God spoke to him from within the burning bush and asked him to take on this huge task and understandably perhaps he says, whoa, whoa, Lord, I think you've asked the, the wrong person. But it all begins with this uh, question, who am I? I think we're living a time in a time in our country where, where we have to discover again who we are in Christ. Now, if we say we're a, a, a Christian, then, then we need to live that out. Our, our, our way of thinking, our way of speaking, our way of living ought to be and really has to be different. After all, we are bearing the name of Jesus himself. We are Christians. Now consider the implications of that. I, I was challenged some years ago when I heard the story of the American journalist Daniel Pearl. Remember, he was abducted in Pakistan uh, some years ago. Disappeared. Eventually they found his body uh, in, in the boot of a car and he had been killed by Al-Qaeda. He was Jewish, was Daniel Pearl. And not only did they discover his severed um, body, his head, uh, they discovered a, a tape of his execution. Uh, it's not a kind of tape I, I will ever watch, but I'm told that they watched and, and it was the last moments of Pearl's life. And he looked into the camera and he said this, my father is Jewish, my mother is Jewish, I am Jewish. And then they killed him. My father is Jewish, my mother is Jewish, I am Jewish. Now think about that. When you say, I am a Christian, in response to the question, who am I? What does that mean to you to say that? Is there something noticeably different about you? No, you don't have to go preaching on the street corner, as I said a, a day or so ago. But at least we know who we are. We have been bought with the precious blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. And that makes all the difference. We have entered into his family. We are, as Peter wrote in his letter, deep into the New Testament. We are a chosen people a royal priesthood, a people, a holy nation, a people belonging to God, that we might declare the glories of him who brought us out of darkness into his glorious light. So, who am I? If you're a Christian, a follower of Jesus, don't be ashamed of it. Live it out day by day in your home, in your community and amidst all the challenges that we face in South Africa. God be with you.